The former Comcast executive received unanim unanimous consent from the U.S. Senate. Cohen is a stalwart in the Democratic circles and was among President Biden's top fundraisers. It has been two years since the U.S. had a permanent representative in Ottawa. Bruce Heyman served as U.S. ambassador to Canada under President Obama. He's in Chicago. Former Ambassador Heyman, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Tell us all about David Cohen, who he is, and whether or not he's going to have President Joe Biden's ear. Well, I think you addressed the right point at the last moment of that question. He has Joe Biden's ear. He is Joe Biden's selection to be Joe Biden's personal representative for the United States of America in Ottawa. And he received a very fast hearing and a very fast confirmation. He's deeply experienced in business. He is very involved in philanthropy and in government. So he has the balance of all three of these. He is going to be a very good ambassador. He has a great personality. And I think everybody in Ottawa is going to really enjoy working with him. So the last permanent ambassador to Canada was Kelly Kraft, and she had, like, President Donald Trump on speed dial. Uh, and uh, I, that's something that Canadian officials really appreciated, whether they found their relationship with Donald Trump difficult or not. That's a different question. Uh, are we talking about the same kind of uh, relationship here? Well, I, I can't tell you I know exactly what Kelly Kraft and President Trump's relationship was truly like, but I can tell you that from Ambassador Cohn's position, he is deeply connected to the team at the White House. He knows them well, he's worked with them. Uh, everybody from the Chief of Staff to the National Security Advisor to the Secretary of State and the President himself. So I, I really believe he will make that call when it's needed to be made. And he has deep connections throughout the U.S. government. He'll be very effective. Now, uh, as I mentioned, it's been two years since uh, Canada's had a, a representative from the U.S., a permanent ambassador uh, here in Ottawa. What do you think uh, David Cohen's priority should be now that he's stepping into this role? like any ambassador, I think you come in into this new position and I think it's a time to listen and you should listen to what the Canadians feel that they need to get accomplished right now, near term, medium term and long term with the United States of America. You see, Canada is our best friend. It is our neighbor of 5,525 miles and we share this amazing environment. We share so many things geopolitically around the world from NATO and NORAD and, and, and NAFTA and, and many other structures that we work on. We fight climate change together and deal with terrorism around the world. So there's so much that's there on the plate. I think it's time to come in and you've got a lot of new ministers that are all coming in. Great opportunity for a brand new ambassador to make brand new relationships, but also understand the priorities that are set he also has a chance to convey the priorities of the United States. And where those two meet and come together, that's where the great opportunity is to get some stuff done. So there is one thing that Canada is trying to get uh, attention from uh, involving the White House, and that is that tax credit um, that uh, is currently before Congress. It's a significant financial incentive uh, that would motivate Americans to purchase electric vehicles built in the U.S. The Canadian automotive sector is very concerned about this, that this could undermine jobs in Canada. Uh, is Ambassador Cohen stepping into this role at, at a difficult time in the Canada-U.S. relationship? Look, we have such a complex relationship between our two countries that inevitably there will be things that will not exactly meet together. And that's the work of the ambassadors on both sides of, of our shared border for Canada and for the U.S. to work together and to work with respective governments to try and pathways to resolution, to cooperation, to collaboration. We could list a whole litany of things that have gone on for decades between our two countries. But these are the things that ambassadors can work on to help mitigate it or address. And so you've named one here, and I'm deeply aware of this, and I know how important manufacturing of autos between our two countries together have gone on since the auto pack and then encompassed in the NAFTA agreement. I just know how important it is to our shared economies. And uh, so this, this is undoubtedly an issue that will be put on the table. Any idea if the Biden administration is going to move on that issue about the tax credit? I, I don't know. I have not been involved in deep conversations about this topic with anybody in government. 
But I do know that this is something that an ambassador can take back and have discussions with the White House and with Congress and discuss with them about the priorities that Canada has and why why that's so important. So this is the opportunity that Canada has to have a, a standing U.S. ambassador to come in. But, you know, we'll see what he's able to negotiate and where it goes. But I know he's going to do his very best. And I think he will be a very good ambassador. Ambassador Cohen said during his confirmation hearing that the U.S. is waiting to hear Canada's updated strategy on China. What will the ambassador be wanting to hear from Canada on that very important strategic relationship? This is an evolving issue between both of our shared countries here, that how are we going to deal with China? Now, remember when Secretary of State Blinken met with his counterpart in Alaska at the very beginning of the U.S. administration, he talked about the three buckets of working uh, with China, and that would be cooperate, compete, and then confront where they need to confront. And then laying that out, it's not completely clear where each of those lines are, but I think that that's an evolving conversation taking place. And clearly that will be a topic for conversation between the two countries. All right, Bruce Heyman, thank you so much for your time today. Be well, everyone. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.